Well, you guys got another video here for you. What is the best PC security software in 2023? Now, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll probably know that I've been using ESET smart security software for quite some time. Now, I know a lot of people always ask, what is the best antivirus software out there? And do I need an antivirus program in 2023? And I'm going to answer all of this in this video. I'm going to show you the ESET smart security software. This is the premium version. It's very affordable. And yes, you do still need a antivirus program in 2023 and you'll need one in 2024. So why should you choose ESET over the other antivirus software out there? Now, Windows does come with uh, Windows Defender and my personal opinion, it's just not up to snuff and ESET smart security can do a lot better job at protecting your computer. Now, you've got three choices here. You've got essential security, advanced security, and we're looking at the premium security here. This is a one-year uh, price deal. You can download the trial version to try it out if you want to. Uh, the advanced security is really decent uh, piece of software, which is pretty affordable, uh, but we're looking at the ESET Smart Security Premium version right here. Now, one of the things I like about ESET is that you don't get bombarded with ads. Now, some of the free antivirus programs out there will bombard you with adverts because obviously it's free and you are the product. Again, with some premium antivirus software, as I've made videos on in the past, they've also bombarded me with ads, which I didn't like. Now, with ESET, it's pretty easy to set up. At the beginning, you're going to get this uh, protection and installation settings. You've got the live grid here, which is advisable to put on. And this will give you a little pop out here, which you can read. You don't have to enable this feature, but it's really advisable to enable it to keep you really safe. I like to enable the detection for potentially unwanted applications. If you want to participate in the customer experience improvement program, you can check mark this one if you wish. Now, remember, the live grid is going to give you the optimal protection on your computer. So it's always advisable to check mark that one. We're going to skip the login part here. This is to uh, set up your home account uh, to ESET, and this is also advisable to do as well. But just for this tutorial, I'm going to skip it to save time. This is where you can choose your activation. If you have a key which you've purchased, you can go ahead and use your purchase key right here, or you could even purchase your license after the trial. So the first feature we're looking at is the banking and payment protection. This is basically a secure browser that is going to secure you and protect your data while shopping online or whether you're doing banking online. You'll see that little green box around the outside of your browser. And this means the secure browser protects your personal data when using online banking or doing payments on websites like shopping and things like that. The green frame means that you are secure and safe. And that is a nice little feature that they've added inside ESET. So if you're doing any sort of bank transfers or anything like that, it's really important that you have this on your PC. Now, if you're wondering what the test results are like from this, AV test have done a extensive test on this on February 2023, and you've got good protection, good performance, and good usability here. It's pretty decent software, and if you're looking for software that can keep your computer safe, then ESET have you covered. Now, like I've said before, a bit of common sense and a really good antivirus program go a long way. If you're looking for a good antivirus program that doesn't have a lot of bloat, then ESET has you covered. You don't have all these PC boosters and cleaners all bundled in. Uh, this is just good protection software for your computer. It has good email protection as well, and that's the reason why I like using this because as you can see in my previous video, I showed you the amount of malware this found in my inbox was unbelievable. Now, one of the big downsides to antivirus software is the system resources. A lot of antivirus software will eat up your system resources, but I can safely say that ESET doesn't do that. It's a really low impact on system resources on your computer. This is idle. As you can see here, we're not using any sort of system resources on the system, but I will run a scan here to show you exactly what the system resources are when you're running a scan on the computer. So you can see what it actually does when we're running an actual scan. So we're running a scan now, and if you look here, I'm already recording the screen, so that will take up a bit of system resource here. You can see the memory usage and the actual CPU usage is right there. 
So not that much really, to be honest, for an antivirus program. So if you're looking for something that has got low impact on the system and you've got an older system, then maybe uh, ESET is the one for you. It also has a built-in game mode, which you can use to toggle on when you're playing games so you don't get pestered uh, from ESET at all, which is a nice added feature. They also have a password manager on here. Now, password manager is a security application that stores all your passwords and your personal data in one place. This is great for keeping all your passwords safe and secure. And when you want to use them, you will already have them right at your fingertips. Another useful feature is Network Inspector. Network Inspector is a pretty useful feature for scanning your local network. And what it's going to do is it's going to list all of your devices that are connected to that network. You see the device name, the vendor, the model, and also IP addresses and scene. You can see them all listed right there. So if there's any sort of vulnerability or weak passwords or anything like that on your network, this will detect them and it will notify you. So it's quite a useful little feature to have. So if you have a weak router password or you have open ports or anything like that on your system, it will be detected here and it will notify you. So it's quite a useful little feature to have in an antivirus program. And you can also do a scan on your local network as well right here. You can change networks to wired uh, networks and also Wi-Fi networks as well. So here's the main GUI interface on the front here. It's laid out nice and easy. We've covered Password Manager, Network Inspector. Let's take a look at encrypt data on your computer and USB drives here. So I've got this turned off, but let me just show you here so you can see it. So I've toggled this on now and I'm just waiting for the settings pane to come up so I can click on it. And you can see here we have two options, create an encrypted virtual drive. This is a virtual drive, is a file that acts like a disk drive. And also we also have the encrypted file on a removable drive. This will create a protected folder on a USB drive or other removable drives. And you've seen me show you this method before with other uh, Veracrypt and things like that. This is sort of based on the same sort of thing, which comes in the premium version of ESET, which is quite a nice feature. You also have anti theft as well, and I have this turned off. Uh, but this is pretty useful if you've got, say, for instance, a laptop. You will need to be signed in, and it will give you a anti theft uh, location tracking, one way messaging, and also be able to create a phantom account, which is a spoof account. So you can monitor it. You can even monitor the uh, webcam via the anti theft uh, setting there as well, which is quite useful. So that is the main section here. On the computer scan side of things, you can run a scan on your computer or do advanced scans for custom ca uh, scans or removable media, which is your USB flash drives. And you can also run scans just like this and click on them. Very simple. You can even drag and drop files into here. Maybe you have a suspicious file that you just want to drag onto the actual program itself and it will run a scan that way. You can right click on it and scan it as well. And this will check to see whether the file is safe. So pretty decent protection there. That is the scan features here. You also have no action, sleep, shutdown and restart and all that sort of stuff at the bottom here for your actions. Uh, on the update section here, you can see I'm fully updated and you can run a check by clicking the manual uh, check for updates down the bottom right. It does it automatically in the background, uh, but if you want to do it manually, you can set that up. And uh, we can go down here and look at the tools section. And inside here, you've got a, an abundance of tools here. Log files, you can find all the files that will be logged. You can do some filtering here. And again, this will help you uh, look for certain files. Maybe you're finding, trying to find a particular file whether it'll be a archived file or maybe it's something else. You can do a, an in-depth scan for all the logs here, time scanner, uh, object type, and uh, detection action and stuff like that. So that is the log section here. Quite useful uh, to have. You've got your HIPS and also network pro uh, protection and other things that you can filter out here as well. So that is your logs area. You've got your security report here. You can see we have some of these turned off, and that's because I've turned these ones off. Parent control, anti-theft, uh, secure data, and I have the ESET live guard off at the moment. But you'll get a general idea of what it will show you here. I can toggle these on at any time if I want to, and this will give you much more better protection. 
Now, one feature you should enable is ESET LiveGuard. Now, ESET LiveGuard is a feature that adds another layer of cloud-based protection specifically designed to mitigate a never seen before threat. And this is very useful for people that want maximum protection. So really, uh, when you enable this feature, suspicious files that are not yet confirmed as malicious uh, may potentially carry malware and are automatically submitted to ESET Cloud. Now the submitted samples are run in a sandbox and are elevated by the advanced malware detection engines at uh, ESET. So these are essential bits of security for you and you can toggle this on or off. You don't have to have this on, but it is advisable to keep this on to keep you uh, safe. So we've got our real-time protection on for our system. We have can toggle on the live guard if you want to and have a proactive protection as you're using your computer. That's those two features that will be enabled there if you toggle these on. We have our device control, which is disabled already, and we have our OST intrusion prevention, which is our HIPS on here. And you can see the game mode there is turned off. You can turn it on whenever you like. Now, each individual module has its own settings area, and you can go through here, and this is for the advanced settings. This is for people that like to tinker and tweak stuff even more. Now, you are protected as soon as you install this onto a computer, you are protected straight away. Uh, and you don't need to really go in here and delve in here, but this is for the more advanced user who likes to go in here and uh, tweak some of the settings. And there's some really good settings inside here. And you can do that inside the firewall as well, where you can enable and disable certain firewall settings, block certain programs, uh, network activity, whether you want to block in and out traffic on certain things as well. And you can also see down here, we've got our smart scan, uh, selected profile here. You can go in here and do a bunch of stuff in here as well. So very, very useful. Uh, settings pane in here in the advanced settings so it's not just for the beginner you do have some advanced stuff in here as well but in general you could install this and leave these settings well alone and you will be properly protected if you enable all of the security features it will take care of everything for you and you can see here submission of samples and other things in here you can manually submit these if you want to or you can set this up how you like now, each one of these little modules here, I'll call them modules, will have their own config uh, area where you can configure them to suit your liking. So you click on the config area here. This takes you into the advanced area. And you can see here we have real-time protection, cloud protection, update, network protection, webmail, and uh, email, and uh, device control, and so on. So you can configure all these by just clicking on them. And basically, it will allow you to go in here and change all the settings to your requirements. Now, one of the main features I like is the web and email protection here. This is going to protect you from ransomware, phishing emails, and other spam emails. It's going to protect you and stop you from getting infected. Some of these people that were sending me emails were trying to gain access to my YouTube account by having attachments on these, which were malicious, and they will gain control of your account. These deleted all of those and removed them, and it protected. Uh, my inbox from nasty ransomware uh, and other nasty malware that they've been attaching to these emails. So be very, very careful uh, if you haven't got protection like this one here, because some free ones don't come with web and email protection, whereas ESET does, and it does protect you uh, quite well. And as you can imagine, I get lots of emails every day, and it's important that I keep myself safe. And it could be phishing emails or just scam emails as well that are trying to uh, get you to click on things. Uh, ESET has you covered with that feature. Now, I've seen a lot of people saying you don't need antivirus software. You do need antivirus software. They don't know what they're talking about. You're going to end up getting infected. And if you don't have antivirus software on your system and you're going on the internet uh, naked, basically, you're not going to know what is on your system because you don't have antivirus protection. I've even seen people removing Windows Defender from their computer and having nothing at all and deleting all of the security features in Windows, which is absolutely ludicrous. Now, I've been using ESET for some time now. If you're looking for internet security that protects your digital life online and works with Windows, Mac OS, and Android devices, then check out the link in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. 
Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.